Well, I don't do these videos very often for obvious reasons. We're here with top fives with the five most mysterious and highly forbidden places on the planet. I don't, I don't watch it like this a lot at all. I don't, it's not the content I really enjoy, okay? It kind of scares me a little bit and I just don't do it. Just like I don't play scary games. You got the one out last game, the one Gmod horror game, I think in the past four months maybe on the channel. And I did a mysterious video around that time. I was really feeling the creepiness and uncertainty of it. And I just think this is just not what I like to watch. But we're going to get into it anyways. I guess because I'm stubborn. I don't know. Uh, let's just do it. Most mysterious and highly forbidden. That sounds pretty okay to me. So let's get into it, man. It has to offer. But there are some places that are so mysterious and secretive that they are completely off limits to the public. Well, here are five places on Earth that are not only off limits to almost everybody, they are also shrouded in mystery and unexplained activity. And these are just a handful of the ones we are aware of, because I've no doubt what the most that? top secret places are so forbidden, none of us even know if they're... What is that? Zitka, Russia. The former Soviet Union and modern-day Russia is known for its secrecy, and there are rumours of many hidden military bases dotted around the country. The most famous is Kapustin Yar, the former Soviet Union's rocket launch and development site that was established in 1946, okay. and it's thought to be the place where Sputnik 1 and 2 were launched from. This site employed so many scientists and technicians that a new town was developed to accommodate them, and for years everything was kept a secret, not appearing on maps and being off limits to anybody other than officials. Wow. But by 1962, the town had grown too big to hide and was officially declared a city. And since then, although still being used by workers, the site is no longer a secret, but what lies beneath it is. It's called Zutka and has been dubbed the Area 51. It's thought to be a highly secret 400 meter deep underground base beneath Kapustin Yar. Now what? this place is so secretive that there is very little Oh, that's not a label. That is supposed to be the what, what it is. I thought that was just a label of this is what you're looking at, but that is the space about it. underneath but the But it's said that the underground site houses crashed UFOs, Holy along with claims shit. that the Russians are working hard to develop super viruses that can target specific races super of people, viruses. enabling the Russians to choose who they want to wipe out and who they want to live. All of this information has come from How the fuck did you even do that? That doesn't even make sense. An interesting story from 1948, less than a year after the Roswell incident, tells of a radar operator who picked up an unidentified object, and a what? fighter pilot who reported he was being blinded by rays from a silver cigar-shaped craft. The pilot was ordered silver to engage with the craft, craft, and after a dogfight between the two, both of them crashed to the ground. The pieces were then collected and apparently taken deep underground to Zitka. It's also been claimed that in the area where the UFO crashed, animals and humans became affected by strange energies, and cattle refused to graze there. But this is not the only UFO sighting here, there have been several over the years. And it's thought any UFO wreckage from surrounding areas is always transported and kept at Zitka. Oh, to date, okay. the underground well, facility hasn't know. been confirmed, so given the little information we have available, what do you think is going on down there? Are the Russians creating super viruses and hiding proof of aliens, or is it all a conspiracy theory? Yep. Area 6. <laughs> the unofficially named Area 6, the lesser known neighbor of Area 51, is located in Yucca Flats, Nevada, and was used as an underground nuclear testing site from 1945 up until 1992. And similar to Area 51, it's all a big secret. What we know is, in 2005, a 5,000 foot runway was added, and recently Google Earth revealed a large hangar on the site along with several other smaller buildings. So what is going on at this base? While well, the site is run by the National Nuclear Security, who work with government agencies such as the Department of Defense and Homeland Security, to develop counter-terrorism techniques. This includes tests on equipment designed to detect radioactive material that could be used by terrorists to make bombs. And also with the new runway in 2005, this indicates it's being used to test small unmanned flights, such as Reaper drones, which is what the official reported purpose of the site is for. I was about to say, that's probably just, that's Much what like I was Area 51, say. the airspace is controlled to prevent planes or satellites from being able to look at the site in any detail, and its remote location in the Nevada desert means tests can be conducted away from prying eyes. So, although we kind of know what is going on there, or at least what has been announced, there is definitely tests and operations that are kept secret, and anybody thinking of getting close to the site will quickly find out how private and mysterious these operations are. Well, I was, I was about to say, in the Nevada desert, we've actually got a lot of government money in the last couple of years to do those unmanned flights, you know, for the unmanned airplanes and stuff like that. And there's a lot of air bases out here now 
<coughs> that add installations just for that purpose. But you know, the thing for the military always is, right, if they're showing you X, Y, and Z on the news, right, we're showing you pictures of these planes that we have, then imagine what else they're really working on, right? Like what other kind of aircrafts that the, the military really does have access to or what these aircrafts really can do if we're if that information is out to the public that privacy is always important to military stability because of course if your enemies know everything that you can do it's way easier to create countermeasures north sentinel island this next one is a bit different from the previous ones but although it's different it's equally if not more mysterious and forbidden it's the North Sentinel Island, a tiny island situated in the Bay of Bengal, and what makes this place so unusual is the fact we know almost nothing about the tribe that lives there, and they will most likely kill anyone who trespasses, hence there being a three mile exclusion zone around the place to prevent this. The island is home to the Sentinelese people, an incredibly mysterious tribe that is thought to have been living in total isolation for over 60,000 years. And although a tsunami in 2004 is believed to have reduced the population, there is still thought to be anywhere from 50 to 400 Sentinelese people living there. And all attempts to study their culture and introduce them to our modern world has failed. With this, there are many stories of people entering the island and things do not end well. One of the first recorded encounters happened in 1896, after an escaped Indian convict washed onto the island and was found abandoned on the shore not long after, with his throat sliced and covered with arrow holes. Then, in 1974, apparently a National Geographic director took an arrow to the leg when approaching their land. And in the 1980s, a battle took place after a shipwreck on the island. Armed salvagers tried invading to loot the cargo of the ship, and this ended with many Sentinelese being killed by the men. More recently, in 2006, two people were killed when they were illegally fishing for crabs, and one of their boats drifted onto the island during the night. Wow. They were killed, and when their bodies were attempted to be recovered by a helicopter, the tribe shot at it with arrows. <laughs> One God anthropologist damn. did manage to make contact with the tribe after spending years trying to reassure them that he was not going to bring them harm. He managed to gather very little information about their way of life, as they speak a language that we do not recognize. But it is thought that they do not participate in cannibalism like some tribes. Well, Since I arrows appreciate. and rocks have been fired at low-flying planes and helicopters that have attempted to drop food and other supplies to them, the government have abandoned all attempts to contact the Sentinelese people and have banned travel to their island. To date, they have been left to live how they choose, meaning the North Sentinelese Island is one of the most unexplored, mysterious, and of course, forbidden places on the planet. That has to be my favorite piece of information that this video has given me, and probably my favorite piece of information that this channel has ever given me. And I will Google it to make sure it's true. <laughs> but if it is, that shit is dope. That's fucking awesome if that's true. Dulce Underground Base. Dulce is a town located in the northern part of New Mexico near Colorado, and there is nothing unusual about the town itself, but for years it's been claimed that beneath the town is a secret underground what military base, is that and there is even a theory that the deepest levels are under the control of aliens. As far back as 1947, it said a road was built in Dulce under the guise of a lumber company. No lumber was mm -hmm. ever hauled, and not long after the road was destroyed, leaving many to think that it was a cover-up for the secret base. Uh -huh. Then, in 1979, businessman Paul Benwitz was convinced he was this picking up electronic like communications from an alien spacecraft. And after further investigations, he claims he discovered a secret underground base near the town of Dulce, where these signals were coming from. His results excited the UFO community, and by 1990, well-known ufologist John Lear also claims he had proof the base existed and the theories Board have been going on people. ever since. <laughs> It's been reported the base was, or still is, comprised of several levels and accommodated aliens, genetic experiments, cryogenic storage, mind control studies, wait, security, okay, wait, and on ever since. It's been reported the base was, or still is, comprised. It's been reported. Who the fuck reported of Several this? levels and accommodated Who reported aliens, this? genetic experiments, I somebody cryogenic just said storage, this. I don't know if it mind control to, studies, that security and communications, and human staff housing. It was also claimed that there was a 125 mile underground shuttle that linked it to other security bases. That's not a thing. In 1967, a government project called Gas Buggy conducted an underground nuclear detonation using 29 kilotons of TNT, 21 miles southwest of Dulce. The explosion created huge underground caverns all around the area of Dulce, along with miles of so-called natural tunnels, again promoting cover-up theories. The residents of Dulce frequently report military helicopters flying around their town, e. and have often is seen living strange in New Mexico. lights covering in the sky, 
as well as unexplained animal mutilations in the area, sightings of a Bigfoot-type creature along the nearby river, and even animal human abductions mutilation. that many believe are linked to the base. So what is going on? It seems there is, or was, some strange activities happening in Dulcie. But whether that was just a secret military base or some kind of alien housing, who knows? What do you think? Yep, I would never know. That's that's the most important thing to remember. I would never be the guy to figure this shit out. I'm not gonna I'm not going anywhere with this and we've had mysterious animal mutilations. What the fuck? Hell no. That's not gonna be me. Bohemian Grove. Bohemian, Bohemian Grove is a 2,700 acre site located in Montreal, California, and it's home to a very exclusive old boys club that's been going on for over a hundred years. <coughs> the club has around 2,300 members and has included some of the most prominent what? men in the world, from Richard Nixon, Bill Clinton, the Bush family, CIA and FBI directors, celebrities and royalty, including the Queen Elizabeth of England who was invited there for a visit in 1983, and former President Herbert Hoover who once called it the greatest party on earth. The members apparently meet twice a year for a long weekend in May and for 17 days in mid-July, with each member staying 17 in a log cabin. 17 days? And although spouses and children of members are welcome, they must vacate the premises by 10pm. So what exactly goes on there? Well, the official Orgies. purpose is for people to gather and share a passion for the outdoors, music and theatre, and draw inspiration from nature whilst discussing solutions to world problems. It's said the creation of the atomic bomb was talked about here in 1942. But there has long been speculation that bizarre practices are performed, such as the burning of a human-sized effigy called Care in front of a 40-foot owl statue whilst dressed that in red robes. Weird. Members dressing up as women and even apparently taking part in murder rituals. What? Now this all sounds hard to believe, but the controversial reporter Alex Jones and radio presenter Mike Hansen managed to sneak into the Grove in 2000 during a party and recorded this footage. All right, let's give it to. And. Well, that's ominous. We shall read the sign. Midsummer sets us free. Which hither ye have brought from regions where I reign. Ye fools and priests. I spit upon your fire. <laughs> I'd be like, it's time to go. Fire shall have its will of thee. Be gone, no care. And all the winds make merry with thy dust. Hail, summer ships, eternal flame. Once again, midsummer sets us free. <laughs> <laughs> Which is strange, Weird. it shows that there's definitely some unusual rituals going on at Bohemian Grove that the people do not want the public to know about. Now whether that's just the fact that the members want to have a bit of fun, get drunk and mess around out of the spotlight, yeah, or whether something like more sinister is going on, like the blood rituals and such that the conspiracy theorists have suggested. Oh, well. One thing's for sure, it's still ongoing and during every meeting the area is sealed off by helicopters, a private security force and armed guards. So what do you think? A harmless party with some unusual rituals being performed by the most powerful men in the world, or something much darker? So from the mysterious living... Damn, that is weird. That was weird. That's a weird ending to that video. Well, let me know what you guys think. Uh, Chavez, Slovakia, top fives. That island of the people who haven't been explored, though. That's really fun. That's a good one. I like that one. I like stuff like that. I'm going to look that up immediately. If I could find out how to spell the name, that would help me out a lot. It's kind of like a dream. Right, that there's a spot that get, we have yet to be explored because it seems like we know so much about everything. I think humans just have an affinity for the mysterious. It's always so interesting to think about a you know an underground city that we might not know of or underground caverns linking hundreds of miles, if not thousands of miles, of space between each other. There's some under layer of the world that we don't know about. Could be really nice since everything just seems so transparent now. But I'll see you guys in the next one, Chavez Slovakia. You guys take it easy. Peace out.